I promise you there's something going on with me today because this is my fourth video I'm recording in a row, but there is something important that I really want to talk about again here. Something that I feel like hasn't been emphasized enough. I think the ending of Melody of Memory is hiding something that's so substantial that we haven't even really realized the gravity of it. Now this is very important, so you might want to take a seat for this one. At the end of Melody of Memory, after Riku goes to Quadratum and Kairi goes and gives the message to Yen Sid, that's when Yen Sid starts letting everybody know what they gotta do. Donald and Goofy basically just gotta go tell everyone throughout the world who are looking for Sora to stop. Riku's got this. We pretty sure we're pretty sure that's where he's at. But essentially, Kairi has to go and now train with Aqua, and I love that. That is really cool. I'd love to make a video on that too. But there's one more thing I think we are not paying too much attention to, and that is Mickey's role for the upcoming Kingdom Hearts Phase 2. And that is to discover the connection of the foretellers with the universe of unreality, as for some strange reason, Yen Sid just randomly remembers that he heard that they had knew something about this. So now he has to go investigate Scala at Kailum to try to actually find out what that information might have been and how they could possibly use it maybe to end up getting there themselves outside of of needing the nameless star or something but in the end that's what it boils down to of what mickey's goal is now that might not sound like too much on the surface well i am honestly going to just say it here and out i don't think they're going to do a mickey game not because i don't think that they would make mickey playable mickey has been playable before he was playable in kingdom hearts 2 at certain boss fights if you died he was also playable for a moment in kingdom hearts 3 reminds you know remind scenario that was also a moment for that and you could play as him in days two, but some people don't count that. But what I'm trying to say here, I don't think Disney is above Mickey being playable in Kingdom Hearts. I don't think that's the case. Primarily, the main reason I think that is I'm not sure how much content we'll actually get out of him going to specifically Scala at Kailum. Because if that's what this general focus is about, it's not like he needs to travel to all the different worlds and figure this out and accomplish this goal or anything like that. Primarily, I feel like the objective for this mission specifically works better in the format of a Kingdom Hearts movie, the same way Kingdom Hearts Keep Back cover was, same way they turn days and recode it into movies. However, I would prefer they don't do that for the future, but I feel like something for this works because at the end of the day, I feel like that's the best way to tell the story. I'm hoping they don't do it like this at all, but I do think that if they were going to do this, which it seems like they are, it's best to just do it in a movie just because it's probably an hour or so worth of content. But if they were to end up doing it, it's going to be about a movie, but it's whether it's a game or a movie isn't important. That's not what this video is about. What's important is what Mickey will find out when he's actually there. It's been almost two years since Kingdom Hearts 3 came out. And since that time, we have come to forget certain things that happened in its story, especially because most of us that do play through it again and again and again, we skip cutscenes a lot of time because we've seen this stuff before. The cutscenes go on a long time. Not that we don't like it. We're just playing the game, you know, to have fun. There is one specific scene I do want to bring up. And of course, that is the epilogue. I have talked about the epilogue so many times on this channel. That should not be a surprise. There is so much to pick up Apart from it that two years later I'm still talking about it but in that epilogue we see Lushu finally regain the no-name Keyblade after lifetimes of what we assume you know of not having it and just merely observing however as you continue on with that scene we see him actually summon the foretellers from a different time and we know that to be the case because he literally says that Yura asks him was it you who summoned us back and Lushu says yeah <laughs> It was literally that simple and you know, it doesn't need to cut it any deeper than that. That's literally how it is. So at the end of the day, one can assume that going in the future now, the foretellers are going to play a vital role to phase two. And of course that also having their connection with Lushu, who is also a foreteller. 
But if they were to go anywhere, you would think they would try to go back to their old home. And of course, that being Skalad Kylum, which is sitting on top of their home, Daybreak Town. Daybreak Town is where they're originally stationed back in the key back cover movie. And of course, you can see in the Kingdom Hearts key games. But in a way, as we've kind of seen, Daybreak Town is gone. It doesn't really exist anymore. Anybody that's still there is probably a fish. In the end, we can see that Scala Ad Kylum was built on top of Daybreak Town. Now, this is something that Lushu probably already knows, and he ends up informing them. Of course, we still don't know fully what ended up happening to Daybreak Town and why Scala Ad Kylum had to be built on top, but we know that just to be the case because we've seen it in Kingdom Hearts 3. So, if they were to go back and try to do these things, we realize that if the Foretellers have any kind of clue they left behind, it would likely be in Scala Ad Kylum, which is why Mickey is on his way there. But I believe Mickey will likely encounter the Foretellers themselves when he gets there. And will that end up being a good encounter or bad? Will Lushu be there or not? Will it be bad if Lushu is there? At the end of the day, Mickey, he's not trying to run their pockets. He wants to know what they know so they can go help their friend. At the end of the day, are the Foretellers actually a threat? Is the Master of Masters a villain? Because at the end of the day, they're all just puppets to the Master of Masters. He's the puppeteer. They're only going based off his orders anyway, specifically Lushu here, as we don't think they really know what's going on since they kind of just travel through time and don't really know what's going on, as they didn't even know what Lushu's role was because he just ended up leaving and the war ended up starting and all that craziness ended up happening. We know they fought because we fought them in Kingdom Hearts Key. We fought them. I remember doing it. So at the end of the day, that ended up being the case. Now, Mickey will likely have to run their pockets if something ends up being happening. You know, if Lushu actually tries to attack them or say because um, that he's not a foreteller, they may say that he doesn't have access to this, you know, specific knowledge as this is really classified information but at the end of the day they have been gone a long time and people probably could have accessed it anyway if they wanted to or maybe they'll allow him because he's a keyblade master i'm not too sure and honestly this is another one of those videos where i kind of just feel like the answer is impossible to obtain primarily because there's not enough info but i feel i don't want to let not enough info to stop me from talking about something that seemed interesting or at least caught my eye. I do believe Mickey is going to be a protagonist of a new story of Kingdom Hearts. He's going to be, and we can all practically just assume that just because of him getting a specific role at the end of Melody of Memory, which is the newest game in the series. So with that, do you guys think you'd want to see Mickey in an actual protagonist role as or playable role in the newest Kingdom Hearts game? It doesn't have to be the newest. It could just be a future Kingdom Hearts game. It doesn't have to be the next one. Would you want to be able to play as him for a whole game? Or would you prefer in a movie? Even though that's not what this video is about. Do you think Mickey would end up having to run their pockets to the foretellers? Or do you think he'll be able to obtain the information he wants in a peaceful manner? Because again, the foretellers are supposed to be good guys. They In the end, they were just kind of tricked by the master of masters into causing a war. So do you think Mickey will have a good time over there? Or do you think they'll give him a bad time? Let me know down in the comments below. And because we're so close to 10K, I'd really appreciate each and every one of you guys being able to share share out this video with one single person. That would exponentially increase our chances of hitting 10K as soon as possible. New doors will open when we reach that milestone, and I would really appreciate any kind of help you can give me into reaching that. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Kingdom Ace, and remember my warriors of courage to stay strong, stay beautiful, and always look skyward.